action against you, whether it's the IRS or the EPA or the Bureau of Land Management or whoever it is, all of these organizations that have been created, the Congress has essentially abdicated their legislative uh, responsibilities to these groups, these fiefdoms, these bureaucracies. They create their own internal courts where you are guilty and have to prove your innocence. They even have, in many cases now, their own police that they're heavily arming. We need to be very concerned about this trend in America. And look at this hypocrisy. We see the Wall Street Journal reporting that the security detail for Fed chairwoman irks her neighbors. This is Janet Yellen. They said one of the most powerful economic policymakers in the world moved into the neighborhood and ruined it, according to many. They say the neighbors said earlier this year the security detail protecting new Federal Reserve chairwoman Janet Yellen barreled through the cul-de-sac where she lives in oversized vans loaded with guns, cameras, and take-out pizza. It established an armed camp, they said, next door to Mrs. Foreman's townhome, according to a written bill of grievance presented by concerned neighbors, demanding that the uniformed police presence is uncomfortable for residents of various religious persuasions like Quakers. But listen to some of the things that they do. They had said security trucks weighing approximately 7,000 pounds each sit idling on the street for approximately 22 minutes each day as she's getting ready for her morning pickup. And then, of course, they race out along with their Secret Service police. The government is paying $5,000 or $6,000 a month or more to rent an entire townhome in Georgetown to put the cops in. Now, this picture that's at the top of the article has a, uh, a card stuck in the window that says, Federal Reserve Police on Official Business. Yeah, we're offering the kind of protection to this private corporation, the head of this private corporation. The Federal Reserve is not federal. It is private. And this bankster, this gangster, is getting security from the feds like she's the president or the vice president. We didn't provide this kind of security probably to the president before World War II. And now look at what we do for our banker in chief. Now, as we're talking about prohibition and what they're doing, what they're trying to do with guns, we should remember how this has turned out with alcohol prohibition. We should remember how it turned out with marijuana prohibition, for example. Look at this report from the Liberty Crier. It says six months of legal marijuana and Colorado has more cash and less crime. Now, they point out that there's been a 10% decrease in overall crime from the last year in Colorado and a 5.2% drop in violent crime. They have taken in $10 million in taxes in just 10 months. Guess what? We can handle freedom. We can handle marijuana and guns. What we can't handle is prohibition because prohibition gives a monopoly to the worst elements of society, to organized crime. That's why you got a, law, a lot of law enforcement against prohibition. I've talked many times to that organization, LEAP. We've interviewed him, them on the nightly news, on uh, the radio here. They're against prohibition because prohibition itself is a problem. It destroys society. It increases crime. And you're going to see crime increase a lot if you prohibit guns, even more so than the prohibition of marijuana. You're going to see guns take a new and virulent form as they're released into a free black market. You're going to see design take off, just like you've seen in alcohol prohibition, the increase in the concentration of alcohol, just as you saw in all drug prohibition, the increase in concentration. Even in marijuana, they increased it during uh, prohibition. And of course, uh, News has also come out. This is interesting. This is up on Infowars.com. For former Arizona Governor Gary Johnson is now becoming the CEO of a pot company. He says, I'm excited about this. I think this is really a change in the world kind of thing. Uh, the company is going to be Nevada-based. It's Cannabis Sativa or Sativa. I don't know how to pronounce it. Sativa. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so anyway, that's going to that's gonna bear watching. Now, on economics news, we have uh, we have a lot of news coming up, and we're going to be right back. We're coming up to a break, but of course, Donald Trump is telling us that we need to prepare for financial ruin. And of course, later in the show, we're going to be talking to Harry Dent, and we're going to see what he thinks. 
what he thinks about the timing. We've talked in recent days to Gerald Salenti and others. It is accelerating, and we need to be aware of what's going on, and we need to take precautions. We're going to be right back, and I'm going to give you a little bit more of my take on Dinesh D'Souza's America. Stay a with us. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar powder. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten-free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com. Keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day, 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541 541- 229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic Organic Super Male Vitality Formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and get the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. If you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER Silver 2014 for 20% off of your entire order and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. Hey folks, this is Larry Crisp for BabyBoomerBackupPlan.com. I don't have to tell you, this economy sucks. Unlike the political elite and Wall Street bankers, you know that debts don't disappear and bailouts have big consequences. Stock and real estate market bubbles can pop at any moment and evaporate most or all of your retirement savings. Folks, we're in the weakest economy of our lifetime and it's likely to get much worse. Virtually zero sectors of the economy are hiring and workforce participation is at record lows. And I'm here to tell you, this may be the best thing that could happen to you if you move decidedly and develop a backup plan immediately. Proportionately, more millionaires were created during the Great Depression than at any time in history, and history is about to repeat itself. Get my free report at babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 888-507-8789. That's 888-507-8789. No one knows what it's like to be the bad man. To be the sad man Behind blue eyes No one knows what it's like To be hated Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. Now, Alex is going to be joining us live in the studio to cover news as well as to interview Harry Dent on the economy. There's a lot of economic news that's popped out in the last couple of days. Of course, we know that the border... Collapse is part of a planned economic collapse of America, but 
It's not just there that it's happening. We're going to see some massive new taxes everywhere that are going to be rolling out. One of those is coming in the form of highway taxes. As I reported just last week, we see all of these mainstream media outlets talking about a 12 cent hike in the federal gas tax, a 12 cent hike. It's not a 12 cent hike. Right now, the federal gas tax is 18 cents per gallon. So if you add 12 cents to that, you're doing a 67% increase in federal taxes. Now, Obama released this plan yesterday. It's a very large plan. He says his highway plan is not crazy, it's not socialism, and it's not an imperial presidency. Well, actually, it's going to be a lot of corporate cronyism. It's going to be a lot of corporate fascism, economic fascism. But there is a socialist aspect of it. Even though they're going to increase all of these taxes, a lot of these taxes are not going to be going to your roads and to your bridges. They're going to be building the socialist dream, and that is light rail, commuter trains, that sort of thing. Here's a clip from Obama. It's not crazy. It's not socialism. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's not you know, the imperial presidency or no laws are broken. We're just building roads and bridges like we've been doing for the last, I don't know, 50, 100 years. Yeah, right. Uh, it's also not a 12 cent bump. It is a 67 percent bump in gas lien taxes. And that's not the only place where they're going up on things. We got a uh, article on Infowars.com from Zero Hedge. It says interest on new student loans are, is going to rise by 20%. Starting July the 1st, all new loans for the 2013-2014 student year will increase from 3.86% to 4.66%. And he does the math. He actually does math. That's a 20% increase. But see, the mainstream media would present that to you and say, that's less than a penny. What they're doing is, look at this in the context of what's happening at the border. They're opening the border. They're offering either in-state tuition to illegal citizens, as John Bowne calls them. And that's a good way to put it. Because, of course, as he, as he said, they, they're illegal, but they get all of the benefits of citizens. Actually, they get even more benefits than citizens. Citizens can't go to another state that they haven't lived in, and get in-state tuition. But the illegal citizens can. They can even get full-ride tuition at many of these places. Now, if you're an American citizen, if you're a legal citizen, then you're going to have to essentially work for these banksters the rest of your life because even if you go bankrupt, you're not going to be able to get rid of the student debt. But, of course, there is a way for you to get out, and that is if you will pledge to do indentured servitude to the federal government, to Washington. Uh, people are catching on. You know, Obama just came out in a Quinnipiac poll that voters think he's the worst president since 1945. 33% of the voters think that Obama is worse than any other president since World War II. George Bush came in second at 28%. Third place was Richard Nixon, and he was at 13%. Jimmy Carter was at 8%. You know, there's something else that people can agree on, and this is a very good sign. 74% of Americans don't believe that they have to give up privacy for security. That is a false trade, just like giving up your liberty for security. If you give up your liberty for security, you will never have any security. Slaves don't have security. To the extent that you give up your liberty, to that extent, you become a slave. And if you give up all of your liberty, you live in a prison. It's called maximum security. And so now people have been, have been told that for a long time. They need to trade off liberty for security. And so many people buy that because they've been propagandized about that for so long. But they haven't been propagandized about this privacy issue for very long. And the encouraging thing about this is that this is across all seven political categorizations of the uh, Pew Research Center that took this poll. And let's look at these different uh, ones. Now, the highest one was the hard-pressed skeptics. That was 83%. The lowest ones were tied for the next generation left and the faith and family left. They only agreed at 66%. I thought that we all, I thought the left was unified that we all have a right to privacy. Oh, I'm sorry, that's just what they mean when they say abortions. They don't really want you to have real privacy, but at least even there, 
a majority, 66%, don't want to see that trade-off. We're going to be right back with more news and that review about America. Dinesh D'Souza. We're on the march. The M.